Hi, my name is Kenny Rains, and this is going to be part one of going through your 3D printer calibration, specifically frame check. So what we're going to do is we're going to check to make sure that we don't have any loose nuts or bolts, that we've got proper tension on our V-rollers by tightening our eccentric nuts, making sure that our Z-axis is lubricated. We're going to level the bed roughly, and we're going to come back and finish that off in the next step and first layer. Make sure that our hot end is good, our nozzle is good, belts are tension, and our fans are working. The way that we're going to go ahead and check the frame of the 3D printer, meaning everything about the 3D printer physically, the belt tension on the y-axis, on the x-axis, also go ahead and check the frame and make sure that it's square and equal distance from the x-axis to the top bar. We're also going to go ahead and check the screws, nuts, and bolts, make sure that everything is properly tensioned. We're trying to eliminate everything that we possibly can as far as errors that will catch us later on. So for our first step here, what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and check out our 3D printer. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to prepare, disable steppers. So now I should be able to freely move my stepper motors. And I'm going to go ahead and move up the Z axis. And I want to get it pretty close to this top rail here. Because I'm going to do a couple things here. Number one, I want to check the distance from the x-axis rail on each side with the square I have. I'm going to get it to where I'm reading three inches on this side. Now I'm reading three inches on the other side. So that tells me that my x-axis is parallel with the top Z bracket. The next thing I want to do is I just want to check and see if we're square from the build plate to the rail. So we're good on that aspect. You could adjust this if you're not. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the x-axis and I'm going to feel how the movement is. It should be pretty smooth. You can adjust the x-axis tension of the belt right here. And then also, if you need to adjust your wheels, you've got the one eccentric nut down here on the bottom and you can loosen or tighten it. And same thing goes with the z-axis. You should have all three wheels moving at the same time as you move up and down the z-axis. If they're not, you need to adjust your eccentric nuts that are located on the inside until you've got contact. Then we'll go to our y-axis and we're going to feel that it's moving pretty smooth. The belt tension feels pretty good. It should be pretty tight makes a little strumming noise. One thing that's given me trouble are these z-axis screws and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and tighten them up a little bit more. This gave me a lot of issues and some failed prints at first so I'm just going to make sure that they're really tight here and you also want to just check visually and make sure that those T-nuts have actually turned and are sitting in the V-rail. Okay, so everything in that aspect looks pretty good. So the next thing we're gonna move to is the actual bed leveling. One other thing, I've already put lubricant on mine, but your Z-axis threaded rod, you'll make sure it's lubricated as well. So before I get into the bed leveling routine, I'm gonna do a couple things first. I'm going to go into control, 
temperature and I'm going to set my nozzle temperature to about 160. I want to get it hot so I can deal with my thermal expansion, but I don't want it so hot that, re that filament starts coming out of the nozzle. I'm going to also set my temperature up to the print temp that I'm going to use at 60 degrees. Okay. So this is going to take a little bit, and while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and go back up to prepare. I'm going to hit auto home. So now we're homing our X, Y, and Z axis. So the Z axis is creeping in. And once again, I want to explain the importance of why we preheat the nozzle as well as the extruder. So if you do that at room temperature, you're making sure that the plane of the nozzle is parallel to the build plate at room temperature, but we don't print at room temperature. We print at roughly 200 degrees C for PLA and 60 degree bed temp. So you want to make sure that the bed is level at that temperature. So now that we are homed in the X, Y, and Z axis, we're preheated at 160 degrees C on the nozzle, 60 degrees C on the bed, and we've got our little piece of paper here. What I want to do before I start leveling is I want to go into prepare, disable steppers. This allows me to move my X axis, and Y axis. We don't want to move the Z because we're homed right now. So I'm going to go to each corner of the build plate and right now it's so close that I can just barely wiggle my piece of paper. And that's actually really good. It needs to be pretty tough to get in there. That's where we're going to start out. So now we're going to scoot over and be careful not to scrape. Sometimes it is good to go in here beforehand and go ahead and tighten each one. If you screw to the right, it's going to bring the build plate down. If you go left, it's going to push it up towards the nozzle. So right now, oh yeah, that's pretty good. I am going to just go ahead and tighten it up just so you can see. So that's really easy. It needs to be a little more difficult than that. It should be a little bit of some scraping. You should be able to get the paper under there but it should be difficult. Okay, so now we're gonna move our Y axis. All right, so that one is a little bit too close. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. So I can get the paper underneath, but I've got some scraping. Now we'll go to our last corner. Yeah, that's some nice scraping right there. So that's pretty good, but what I like to do is I like to go ahead and double check each corner again. So that one's still pretty good. Now see, I think we're actually a little bit, we need to tighten it up a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to check these four corners again, and then we're going to come to the middle. Yeah, it's pretty good. And we'll check this last one right here. Now let's go ahead and move it to the middle. Maybe a little bit too close. Oh, nope. That's pretty good. 
So we may be a little bit close on this, but whenever we get to our first layer part of the process, that's when we're gonna find out for sure where we're at. But this is pretty good for this point of the process.